<laughs> hey, Jimmy, it's Andrea. Hey, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am excellent. It's hot outside. I'm inside. So that's a good thing. That's a good place to be. I hear you. New York City has been well, kind of Well, I know we gross. only have about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And okay. so we know it's back to school time. How do we get ready for back to school? Well, one of the things is that parents want to get ready for back to school. You know, they want to make sure, sure. that the kids are safe and secure. So I'm going to start right with the front door. Ring video doorbells. Give parents peace of mind, letting them see who's at the door and alerting them to motion when kids are home alone. Now, the latest video doorbell from Ring, the door view cam, is for perfect for people who live in condos or rentals or anyone who can't make changes to the outside of the home. It's easy to install. It just replaces the peephole in your door, and it runs on rechargeable batteries. And the newest feature, an impact sensor, lets you know when someone's knocking on your door. I think this is also great for college kids, dorm rooms, you know, because it's easy to just pop off the peephole and, and put this in its place so you can take it with you from place to place. Now, you're the tech guru. I bought a video doorbell recently. Can you help me install it? <laughs> I actually can. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you, I have a ring video doorbell. I wired it myself. So Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's not that tough. I'm just not real good at the handy stuff and uh, but Watch I, I know the, the doorbell's going to video. be much better if I have yeah. it installed. It's not doing me any good in the dresser drawer. <laughs> this is true. Now, what are some good ways to keep on top of uh, your kids' health? Um, I want to finish telling you about some security stuff for parents because they're oh, yeah, going to sure, be go really ahead. happy knowing that they don't have to be helicopter parents, that they can just have these little nuances of knowing when the kids are safe. One other thing I want to tell you about is the Schlage and Code Smart Wi-Fi Deadbolt because how many kids forget their keys, right? This is a mm -hmm. smart door lock. It has built-in Wi-Fi. So using the Schlage Home app or Key by Amazon, you can access this from anywhere. You could be in the studio there and let your kids in the front door. And it's compatible with Ring Video doorbells and cameras. And then my favorite feature is you can send a unique access code to the babysitter or a house guest or even a, a trusted worker. And then you get notified on your phone when it's been accessed. So it's a really, really great way to know who's coming and who's going. And lastly, in the house, you know, you don't want the kids cranking up the AC or cranking up the heat, but you want to make sure they're comfy when you're not there. Honeywell's Home T9 Smart Thermostat has smart sensors. So they basically have intelligent motion detection, and they know who's in what room at what time. So that way it's not heating the whole house. It knows who's mm -hmm. in the room. Even if they move from room to room, playroom, kitchen, back again, right temperature to the right room. And when no one's home, it knows that too. So it adjusts the temperature and saves money, which we all love. Oh, no doubt. I want to go back, though, to the uh, unlocking the door. Mm -hmm. I think that's really great because a lot of us as kids, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, had a string tied around my neck <laughs> with a key on it. And it was inside my shirt. And then when I got home, a couple hours before our parents did, I was able to let myself in. But I, you know, I was probably like eight years old, so I couldn't put it in my pocket because, you know, I'd lose it. So, yeah, that's much better than, than having a string around your neck with a key on it. I agree. Yeah, totally. or burying, you know, like putting it under the front doormat or a, a flower pot, you know, that's not safe, right? This way you can just text and say, hey, let me in, and you press a button there on your phone and, and the door unlocks. Or you can just mess with them, you know, have you been good today? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, I'll let you in in a half an hour. <laughs> I'm not letting you out until you do your homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you could lock them in as well. There you go. Good idea. Now, you asked me about health, and that's a really good question because sometimes you just don't really know what's going on. I think a family scale like the Withings Body Plus is a great idea. It also is Wi-Fi connected. It's smart. It keeps track of your weight, and it keeps track of your body fat like many scales, but it also tracks water percentage, muscle, and bone mass. So this way, you're aware of any changes to the body composition. It works with the Withings HealthMate app. It syncs the data for up to eight users, and it offers coaching tips to kind of help you reach your health goals. So it's a really easy way to stay on top of the whole family's health. And it has this new feature called baby mode. So if you have a baby and you want to check your baby's weight, you can get on the scale and it deducts your weight. 
Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. And then, of course, you know, with all the craziness going on, United Healthcare wants to remind parents about scheduling annual doctor visits for the kids. Really important. Make the back to school checkup, get a dental cleaning, visit the eye doctor before things get crazy. And you know, vision issues, they may affect your child's learning. And with so much time spent in, in front of a computer screen, digital eye strain can become an issue. So you wanna learn about things like blue light blocking glasses, um, you know, the, the school vision exams, the screenings are great, but they're not really comprehensive exams. And of course, you wanna check with your healthcare provider about any recommended immunizations. Oh yes, definitely. We're speaking with tech expert Andrea Smith, and the topic this morning is back to school on Tennessee Matters. And these are just some cool little technical things that can, can not only make your life a little bit more convenient, but, you know, we were talking about earlier, if your kid loses the keys or uh, the scales that keep up with your, your weight and your, your bones, and, and that's like, wow, I've never heard of that. Does it tell you that your bones are weak? Drink more milk. <laughs> I actually... You need vitamin D. You know, I go to the gym and I work out and I keep looking, wait, you know, I'm not building a lot of muscle here, you know, so I keep looking at my muscle mass. <laughs> Maybe you're building bone mass. How there does that you go. Work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, where do we go for more information? Because I'm sure you, you must have a website with all these cool gadgets on it. Yeah, absolutely. If you want more information on any of these items that I talked about, head over to dailylounge.com. Dailylounge.com. Well, that's a very easy website to remember. I and yeah, so. check that out. I, I'm definitely going to look at it myself because. I like gadgets. I, I don't think I need necessarily all of them that I think are cool, uh, but nonetheless, it's, it's nice to know that they're out there. Now, is there anything you would like to cover that we haven't already discussed this morning? Well, you know, I just think that it's an anxious time for parents and kids, so the more prepared you can be and the more stress you can take off, um, you know, the, the external things, the better. So knowing that you feel safe and secure, that's good. You're not putting that added pressure on your kids. For sure, because it's stressful enough going back into a classroom and, and, you know, you may not know all the kids or they're different kids than you were around last year. And then you got to, you know, I think the, what stressed me out as a little one was, was the back to school shopping. <laughs> yes. because my mom would make me try on everything. It's like, we've got my size here. Get five of these shirts and five <laughs> of these pants. Oh, no, we had to try on everything. I remember uh, those days. <laughs> And it's just because she didn't want to have to come back later. And I and now as an adult, I get that. But as a kid, I'm like, I'm tired of trying these clothes on. Uh, so anything you can do ahead of time, like you said, to prepare and plan before uh, school to make your kids feel more comfortable. And, and at the same time, making the parents feel more comfortable, uh, I think it will, will help and, and, and probably have their mind on learning versus uh, being stressed out and not, not paying attention. Yep, I totally agree. Less stress. Dailylounge.com. That's the website to go check out all these cool little gadgets, whether it be the video doorbell or, or the scales. And uh, maybe you can find a little gadget that will help make your life uh, better. Dailylounge.com. Thanks so much, Andrea Smith, for uh, spending time with us. You have quite the uh, uh, background here. I know you're a contributor to NBC.com, award-winning uh, journalist and uh, technology writer, and you spent over two uh, decades as a technology producer at ABC News. so And you also have a podcast. Tell us a little bit about that, if you would. I do. It's called Parenting Bites, B-Y-T-E-S, and it's about raising <laughs> uh, kids in the digital world. So we do. We talk about all this kind of stuff, how not to be a helicopter parent and how to make sure your kids aren't getting their confidence from Instagram likes. Oh, yes. That's, a, that's great. Now, can they find information on the Daily Downs website about your podcast as well? Um. Well, I'm not sure, but you can go to ParentingBites.com. ParentingBites.com and DailyLounge.com. DailyLounge.com, yep. Yeah, go, go check those out for, uh, for the uh, gadgets as well as the podcast. Andrea Smith, th thanks so much for spending part of your day with us here on Tennessee Matters. Thank you. All right, have a great day.